right now we're in Houston, man. Um, getting ready to go surprise Miss Johnson, who I was able, I was put in a, a position to be able to help her and her family, uh, you know, create a new kitchen and kind of put her house together. You know, it's been a couple months since the freeze. She hasn't been able to, you know, cook a home, a, a home cooked meal, and you know, since what is that for? Four or three months. So um, it's gonna be pretty cool to go and surprise her. Uh, talk to her, talk to her son or daughter, you know, to see the type of people they are, and you know, just be a blessing, man. So, um, I'm blessed to be able to put this uh, situation. You know, thank you to Elizabeth and Mickey, and um, you know, be here. The Goldie Legacy has found a recipient that you know had this young lady, Miss Jessica Johnson. Her family had damage uh to their kitchen they haven't been able to get it fixed so right now we're on our way to surprise the family and meet them and give them an opportunity to meet grant delpin children on our own. As you see everything that has been transpired, um, the blessing after the storm. Right, the winter storm. The winter storm on February 19th, 2021 to be yeah. exact. Yeah. Of course, cabinets all the way across here. Water was just pretty much just pouring and glitching all over. Cabinets over here, and then this was the sink area. Underneath the sink, the pipes burst underneath the sink here which ran all the water into the kitchen floor. So all of this was literally flooded. Then all of the water went into the living room. And then here comes Monday with the ice storm. Um, the whole city was shut down, of course. Um, we had no power, we had no lights, we had no water. And my son and I experienced staying in one room, just trying to keep warm. Mm -hmm. Um, no power at all. The whole the whole city was without power. So it seems like literally, yeah. and so um, we found ourselves waking up on that Tuesday mm -hmm. to walk to the store. Ice on the ground, snow everywhere. Then we we realized the store is closed. Everything's closed because right. of the snow. We come back home. There's a leak. There's a hole. Oh wow! In the roof of the kitchen. Waters everywhere. Now this is just after we walked from the store. Oh wow, that was really quick. Really, really quick. So we had a hole in, in the roof of the ceiling. Um, from the T-line, the water was just pouring out. Destroyed all of my cabinets onto the floor. Then, so we got someone to come, emergency to help us with that. But unfortunately all the plumbers, now everyone's experiencing this same situation. All of the plumbers were like nowhere to be found. Uh, but there was one, I go ask Grace, an angel sent someone over here to help me with that one leak. Uh -huh. Two days later, my daughter woke up and realized she heard some water. So now another pipe is bust underneath my kitchen sink. So that flooded out my kitchen altogether. Oh, the water wow. ran into the living room, it flooded out the living room. I had flooding in my bathroom, both my bathrooms, my bedroom and my front room, and my bedroom was free. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Start praying, of course. You start calling people who can help me. But of course, you know, everybody knows me, I know them. And so you have your village that just kind of come in and everybody step in and they help. So I'm, I'm just so grateful. Not knowing where your blessings come from, they just come out of nowhere, Grant. Just like you. Who would have ever thought a young man? Yeah. 
So I'm so honored and grateful. I don't want to break down because I am a private <laughs> so, But through God's grace, people have supported me. They step in the gap for me. They help me as they could. Um, we were able to successfully do everything up until this point. And then here comes another angel. Miss Elizabeth. Yes. Very strong person, very strong woman. Yeah. Um, like I said, anything I can do to help. I said, me and my family went through a Katrina. Oh, yeah. Katrina uh, flooded my whole house uh, and everything like that. So I know how it is. Um, I know even hurricanes have hit Houston. I know y'all been going through that as well. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, when stuff dies down, people tend to, you know, forget and, uh, you know, kind of go on with their lives. I've been operating with different uh, families and different different individuals over the years and people that we help. It's not just a one-time thing. I like to check on my family. Okay. So, and I have a son that's a teenager, so I am going to be checking on you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the next couple of days, and we'll uh, install all the cabinets, the lower and upper. Um, we're going to install countertops. We have to order some new countertops, granite or quartz, we'll try to put in a new backsplash. Um, We'll come in and put in some light fixtures. Through my company, we'll do some of those small things that need to be done. She doesn't have a pantry currently. As you can see, everything is on top of the fridge. <laughs> so we'll uh, try to create pantry inside that as well. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, we've got a brand new kitchen that's open. So uh, it should take us about a week and a half. We'll have it done.